Hello Standard 5, how are you all doing? Today I am going to teach you social studies. All you need to know is sit comfortably and listen very carefully while the lesson is being taught. If you watch the video carefully, I am sure all of you will understand the lesson very well. So are you all ready? Let's begin. The first lesson that we are going to learn today is evolution of man. Let's sit and listen to the lesson now. Today we are going to learn about evolution of man. Let us start with the beginning of life on earth. The age of earth is now calculated to be about 4500 million years. But life on earth began much later that is around 3.5 to 4 billion years ago. The first forms of life were single celled organisms similar to bacteria. Gradually many different types of organisms evolved during the next 10 million years. The mammals appeared on the scene even later. Now on your screen you can see the picture depicting the timeline of this evolution. You can see the earth at 4.5 billion. Then next comes the small very small organisms which began living around 3.5 billion years ago and gradually they multiplied they evolved and finally 7 million years ago we can see early man standing there on its legs. So this is the way life began on earth. Now it was during ice age that early man started traveling from one place to another in order to get a suitable climate. So now we need to learn about ice age. What does ice age mean? What does ice age refer to? The term ice age refers to a period when almost the whole of earth was covered with deep sheets of ice. As you can see in the picture there was deep sheets of ice everywhere almost everywhere on the earth ice age is the period of long term reduction in the temperature of earth's surface because ice was covered with deep sheets of sorry because earth was covered with deep sheets of ice naturally there was long term reduction in the earth's temperature, the temperature of the earth's surface. And later there was alternate heat, hot and very extremely cold climate. We had alternate phases of extremely cold and warm climate. So during ice age these big climatic changes had great impact on the man and animals of the time. They were forced to adapt themselves to the changed climate. As a result, they went through processes of evolution in order to survive. Among those species who survived through the great climatic changes were advanced primates particularly man. Now we had learned earlier that man belongs to the group called mammals. Now this group is called as primates. Man belongs to a group of mammals known as primates. So these the species of man was one of those species which survived through the great climatic changes 
and they continued with the process of evolution while they continued with the process of evolution great changes took place and these changes took place in different stages the first stage and the most important stage was when man started standing erect now as we all know the tree apes were our ancestors these tree apes they lived around 10 million years ago some of the apes came down from the trees and gradually learned to stand and then to walk with the help of their hind legs this was the most important event in man's evolution and why was it so it was so because the erect position helped early man to look farther to look very far in all directions and to save themselves from their enemies and who were their enemies their enemies were mostly big animals they were thus on the road to developing a new way of life by learning to protect themselves by being able to look all around very far in all directions man began their progress early man began their progress towards a new life and once the apes started living on the ground more biological changes took place while climbing trees apes had already developed the bones of their wrists and their hands were used to grasp things because they used to climb the trees daily their four limbs or what we can say hands were already well developed particularly the bones and the wrists but once man started standing the four limbs were free to handle objects and they were able to hold sticks as weapons and with the passage of time the hand developed flexible fingers their fingers became flexible so what was what were the changes the first change was man learned to stand and then walk with the help of their hind limbs and later they were able to use their four limbs two and they were free to handle objects as the hand developed flexible fingers man became good craftsman he could now grasp things and bring them closer to his eyes side by side the position of internal organs of the body also changed to suit the erect posture because they were standing erect the position of internal organs also changed accordingly the brain too developed and helped him to use his intelligence in making tools and lastly in rising above other animals man became better than other animals around him so can you see changes coming in can you see man evolving with time yes man now learned how to make tools we have already seen that they developed flexible fingers now these flexible fingers made the ape man a craftsman they started making tools and the first tools he used were pieces of stone and other things that he found lying around gradually he made many new tools thus now he can change he could change natural objects into implements and thus took the first big step towards improving the living conditions provided by nature they were able to improve their living condition they were able to make tools they were able to make implements and what did they use to make these tools and implements they used stones and other things he found 
lying around what could those things be they could be pieces of wood they could be branches so man started using all these things to make tools now once early man started making tools they also started social interaction they learned to live with fellow men they were able to cooperate and work together so with the ability to form groups with the as there was a growth in social interaction of man they also learned to speak their ability to speak developed because they had to interact with each other maybe they started with gestures using their hand and slowly they started speaking to each other so man got their power of speech got the power of speech man's power of speech helped him in transmission of new language to the next generation and with the transmission of knowledge man made cultural progress so we can see man evolving from tree ape to man who could interact with people interact with fellow men and even they started speaking to each other they could improve their living conditions with the help of different kinds of tools and implements now let us learn about some species of early man here you will have to learn all the spellings and all the big new words so let us learn about some species of early man the first species of early man was found in africa and was named ramapithecus the first ape man who walked upright he was found in central africa and he was named australopithecus this species of man was very similar to man like being that we are now they were able to stand walk upright stand erect a sub species of australopithecus was called zinzanthropus and this species definitely made tools these beings lived around 5 lakh years ago and they lived like other animals and mostly ate nuts roots insects and worms now another important fact that we know we have learned about species of early man is that the remains of early man like being was found in asia the remains were found in java and so now we come to the end of this lesson i have put a picture of evolution of man early man so all of you need to practice this picture those who have got the book can take the help of the book and those who haven't they can look at this slide and they can practice now there are some interesting facts to be learned the first one is man belongs to the group of mammals known as primates i have already told you this that we human beings we belong to a group of mammals called primates and modern man we are called homo sapiens so these are two facts you need to learn and with this we come to the end of chapter 1